So um, I'm Ruth Kidd, my husband Neville and our two sons Daniel and Stephen all work on the farm here. Um, we're milking about 1800 cows, three-way cross cows on a grazing system. So lower input, we do feed a bit of grain, um, but yeah, grazing every day of the year. So we have um, Frisian, Jersey and a third breed. Mostly at the moment Norwegian Red, but Ayrshire, um, Aussie Reds, a few um, Brown Swiss, just whatever we can find that fills that third breed. And lately the Norwegian Red's been taking up a lot of that space. We started back in 1995, I think, because we were dissatisfied with the, the quality of the and the diversity in the, the semen that was available in, in either the Frisian or the Jersey lines sort of thing. So we started Jersey Frisian for a start and then we, we sort of struggled with what way to go after that. So um, some of them, like we just chose whether they were big or small, whether they were Frisian or Jersey. And then we heard a speaker probably about, I don't know, few years later about um, about three-way crossing and how they did it with using colors instead of concentrating on the, the breed it's all in color system and we thought oh, that's easy we can manage that so um, we've got gone to that ever since and it, well it, for us it, we're very uh, seasonal calving still, so um, fertility is really, really important. So, and we, we, we like the production as well, and the ease of calving is the main things that we were looking for, and we found them in the Norwegian Reds. Um, size isn't so critical because they all, because they go around in a cycle, they seem to even themselves out pretty well, but um, we don't like the really bigger cows because of the damage it does to the pastures and so we've probably gone a bit smaller um, but I think our cows would probably be about 475 to 500 kg average sort of thing so um, and they fit in the cows are fairly even across the herd so um, we're happy with it. Um, the Norwegian Red sticks up really good against the other breeds um, for fertility and for, for production and um, cell counts, um, mastitis treatments, everything. They've, so far they've been looking pretty good. Yes, their solids stack up, um, probably better than some of the other red breeds that we've, we've tried. Mm. So um, yeah, that's that's really, we don't want to be um, having a third breed that isn't producing as good as the other two breeds because we don't want to be losing production as well. So, so it's really important to f try and keep the, get a third breed that actually um, meets the standard that we want. So we, we um, line them all back up to put a dollar value on the production, fat and protein and um, so that we can compare all the herd cows within the herd on the same dollars earned. So um, that makes, makes it easy for us to compare. Um, they, they cope better than, the Holsteins probably are the worst. They, they go for the shade the first. The Jerseys last the longest out in the paddock, but because they're all three-way cross, they're all got a bit of Jersey and a bit of Frisian and a bit of Norwegian red in them and so um, they, they cope better than, than the straight, straight Frisians anyway. So we don't have many straights so it's really hard to compare with anything at the because they're all crossbred. Or we're really mad and uh, <laughs> we should be having a holiday instead but we really enjoy it and we enjoy what we do and we've got really good staff that help us and are keen to progress with us so um, um, yeah we'll just keep going at the moment and see how how we go